Now, in the previous video, we looked at how to draw the line of best fit, and I drew a line of best fit for this set of data. So let's say that this was um, test scores on a maths exam, and this was test scores on a science exam. Okay, and what happened was that in general, if a student did better on the maths exam, it appears they also did better on the science exam. Now, you might then be asked, estimate what a student would get if they had scored 50 on the maths test. Okay, so it's very important that you've drawn a line of best fit here. It must be very clear to the examiner because we have to use it when we're going to estimate. So we look at 50 on the maths axis. We want to go straight up vertical line to your line of best fit and then go horizontally to the science axis and read off that value and then you can that is your estimate for what a student would score on the science exam had they scored 50 on the maths exam likewise you could say if they had scored such and such on the science exam, what would they have scored on the maths exam? So go horizontally to the line and then vertically downwards to the maths axis and read off the score. So in both cases, you can estimate either the maths score or the science score with an initial score for the other exam. And that is how you can use the line of best fit to estimate. Um, there can be some considerations that come in, um, some practical ideas. So, for example, uh, estimate, why might it not be a good idea to estimate uh, what a student would get if they had scored 100 on the maths exam? Well, the problem with that is that I would be using my... Um, my line of best fit for a bit of data that is quite far away from any of the other results. And so that is called extrapolating or extrapolation. And the further you go from the results that you have collected, the weaker the approximation is going to be. And the likelihood is that it's just going to be plain wrong. Okay? So, as long as you are close to where your data lies, the data you've recorded, then the likelihood is that your approximation is going to be good and the correlation is strong. If the correlation is all over the place, the line of best fit in using it is going to be difficult.